Mercutio, we should go. It's hot, there's a bunch of Capulets, and if we run into a Capulet, we might not get out of the fight this time. You're one of those guys, Benvolio, that gets a little too rowdy when you go into a shoe tavern. You can't handle heavy situations. Am I really that kind of guy? Come on, you're the kind of guy that makes a big deal out of everything. You would beat up a hobo just because you thought he looked a little too shady, or killing a guy who has two or more threads than you have, and you're teaching me about getting into fights. Oh no, a Capulet! Oh no, I don't care! Gentlemen, a word with you. Just one word? How about a word and a blow? Huh! <laughs> what? Oh, I get it. It's a double entendre. Well, if I ever get an excuse, I will consider the offer. Really? No, of course not. Look, do you consort with Romeo? Consort? What is this? The Middle Ages? How is about I consort my fist with your face? It was just a, it's just a question. Jeez. Guys, we're in a public place. Everyone is watching us. Maybe it isn't a time for this. Public is good. Now they can see me beat the life out of this jabroni. Never mind, you psychopath. Here comes my man. Romeo, there are only these words to describe my hate for you. You are a villain. I'm sure there are better words than that. Anyways, my love outweighs y your hate for me. But I guess you don't know me. Whatever you said won't make my injuries hurt any less. You hurt me a lot. Tybalt, I didn't hurt you. I love you more than you know. You won't know how much I love you till you find out why I love you. Hey, uh, um, Romeo, are you alright? Never mind. Tybalt, come, let's walk. What do you want with me? One of your stylish stripes. Raise your face. Let's fight. Okay. Stop fighting! Benvelio, make them stop! Tybalt! Mercutio, the prince forbid us from fighting in Velvedona. Stop! Tybalt, Mercutio! <laughs> I am hurt. A plague go both your houses. What are you hurt? Well, what do you think, genius? It can't be that deep. Oh! It isn't too deep or wide, but it's enough to pull Mercutio down. Why? Why, Romeo? Why did you get between us? He killed me because of you. I thought it was the best thing to do, you know? To stop the fighting. Benvolio, take me to that house over there. A plague o' both your houses. A plague o' both houses. <laughs> Romeo, Mercutio is dead! Mercutio, my best friend, my only friend, died because of me. I'm your friend. I thought I was done with you. You killed my friend! I guess I'll have to kill you. No, it's me who will kill me. I mean you! Wretched sock, this shall determine that. Wanton. <laughs> Romeo, Prince is gonna kill you. You gotta go. What happened here? I'm kind of hazy, but it went exactly like this. Romeo killed Tybalt, who killed Mercutio. Romeo tried to talk nicely to him, but Tybalt wanted to fight. Mercutio drew a sock, but Romeo tried to make them stop fighting. Tybalt killed Mercutio, and Romeo chased after Tybalt and killed him. After that, Romeo ran away. That's the truth, so help me God. He works for the Montagues, and if he's a Montague, he's a liar. Please, Prince, Romeo killed Tybalt. That obviously means Romeo must not live. Um, no. No offense, lady, but your logic doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, but, you know, he killed Tybalt. And Tybalt killed Mercutio. Are you dumb? Stop. 
Don't answer that. Of course you are. I hereby exile Romeo the Montague. No more excuses. If I see Romeo again, I'm going to kill him till he dies. Romeo is banished. <laughs> Josh plays Marcucci of Tibalt and Prince. I play Benvolio, Romeo, Lady Cabula. Please give us money.